Welcome back, my name is Last Snow Meal, and today we're going to talk about Cyberpunk 2077. Well, more precisely, we will talk about armor that might be present in the game. Well, it will be, but in what form, that is yet to be seen. But from a Cyberpunk manual that was released for the tabletop game, we have a lot of potential info. First off, armor is a huge thing in the tabletop game because it does protect you from attacks, but there are many variations of the armor. First off, we have hard armors and soft armors. Basically, they are divided into different materials they're made from, like rigid metals, ceramics, composites, or more softer, flexible fabrics. We actually have a list of different armor pieces, for example, like Metal Gear, Police Riot Armor, Steel Helmet, Ballistic Nylon Helmet, or more light pieces like Heavy Armor Jacket or Police Patrol Armor, Kevlar T-Shirt, Skin Tight Armor, and so on. Every single piece of armor has a certain stopping power, meaning that a more layered armor like a heavy one is obviously more capable of stopping actual damage than the light variant. It's also a basis of all games that have armor in it. The better the stopping power, the more damage you can endure, but also carrying heavy armor is going to increase your encumbrance value or EV, which makes you slower or faster depending on what type of armor you wear. A good example for that is a heavy leather jacket, which is a light piece of armor. It has a stopping power of 4. It's good for stopping knives, but a 38 slug will rip you to pieces. Meanwhile, Kevlar armor has 3 variants, light, medium or heavy, and light, for example, has a stopping power of 14, while heavy has 20, so it's good against bullets and so on. This will depend a lot on the choices you make for your character. If you want to be fast, you will use lighter armor, be more susceptible to damage, but you will use that agility to combat enemies. Meanwhile, while wearing a heavy armor, you can go face to face with the enemies in combat and, of course, receive more damage. There are also types of body armor, like the ones that cover your torso, legs, head or hands, like the ones we had in The Witcher where you have the gloves, the boots, the torso armor, so it's all going to be present in Cyberpunk 2077, but in Cyberpunk we'll have more layers of armor, probably that's the case, like the ones we have in Kingdom Come Deliverance, for example, you first put on a Kevlar, then on the Kevlar you can have a jacket. It will be increased the stopping power, but it will depend on your choices if you're going to be faster or slower. It's really interesting to see if CDPR is going to add all of this into account, because honestly, it will have more choices for our character. For example, in Kingdom Come Deliverance, you don't have to wear all the pieces of armor. You will be slower, but you will be able to receive more damage. Now, again, in Cyberpunk, there will be guns. In Kingdom Come, we don't have those. So it's going to be somewhat different, but the idea is going to be the same. The more armor you have, the more stopping power you have. Now, all of this is basically body armor. There are also implants which you can put inside your body, like a subdermal armor, like the ones we see in the teaser trailer, how bullets visibly bounce off her body. You have it on the list as subdermal armor and it's placed in torso, but you also can put armor into different parts of your body like arms, legs and so on. But again, the more cyberware you put, the humanity index goes down. So you can really see the insane amount of choices and possibilities you have in this game. And I'm really interested to see how CDPR is going to include if they're going to include humanity index into a video game. So, for example, you can be full of cyberware to rely on stopping power of that subdermal armor, but to wear normal clothes. Or, not to have those implants, but rely on heavy armor, or even both, or nothing, it's going to depend on you. Some of those variations you can see in the teaser trailer where the Psycho Squad is heavily equipped with armor, but our Psycho is almost naked but pretty much indestructible. But yeah, we can only wait to see more info that will hopefully happen during E3 this year. So that is all I have for today. This is your friendly Last Snow Meal signing out. It was a short video, but this is all I have, honestly, on the armor pieces about this game so far, there is no info whatsoever about some. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Tell me down below in the comments what kind of a character you will be playing in this game. Stay classy, everyone, and bye-bye.